up? It's your boy T Bear here with New Yash and here with new top ten anime. This is uh this is a new one that just recently came out. Saw D and B doing reaction to it. My dude for first before I see theirs. This is top ten anime top ten anticipated anime of the fall. So me hopping on the anime, we're hopping back on the anime tr train again. And this will be something good for me though. Check out what's coming on forward in the anime scene though. So let's check it out. They can't get here soon enough. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we count down our picks for the top 10 anticipated anime of fall 2017. Mm. <laughs> I hope some, hope at least one of them be in dub, though. Because I didn't think it was going to go straight, because that stuff is in, it's coming out, so just coming out, so the dubbing will be ready yet. For this list, we'll be looking at the anime we're most excited to debut this fall. This includes new properties as well as brand new seasons of previously running shows. Okay. So long as they didn't originally start during the summer or earlier, they're all contenders. So I mean, when we do they're gonna be all subs. Number ten, Himoto Umaru Chan R. She's back! That's right, one of anime's most divisive characters is set to make her return in a second season that promises to be filled with just as much humor, awkwardness, and hamster hoodies as before. Whether you find her split personalities rather endearing, or the most obnoxious thing to ever be uh, seen, this is too cute me. This will still find a way to inevitably charm you into watching her many misadventures. Will her perfect outdoor persona finally break apart to reveal her inner layabout? Either way, get ready for a lot of junk food, outbursts, and cuteness. <laughs> Number 9, Blood Blockade, Battlefront, and Beyond. This shit is good. Like I said, mostly when we in Japanese already because we probably have a dub version yet. the thrill of a solid shonen anime. And for the most part, we simply got it with the original Blood Blockade Battlefront, whose visuals and stellar cast of characters made it a standout of 2015. Now it's back, and from the looks of things, Leonardo and the rest of Libra are up to their usual crazy antics. Explosions, monsters, all-seeing eyes, and plenty of slapstick, all contained within some rather stunning animation. Come on, Studio Bones, give us another winner. Number 8, March comes in like a lion, second season. Oh boy, we're already starting to tear up. From the trailer alone, the continuation of last year's heartwarming slice of life already seems like it's going full throttle when it comes to layering on the feels. As Ray continues to try and overcome his isolation, as well as improve himself as a shogi player, it appears he's not only in with a chance to build new bridges, but will have to work extra hard to maintain the happiness he's built with the adorable Kawamoto sisters. Besides, how can you resist a series that has no end of cute cats? <laughs> Number 7, mm, Kino's yeah. Journey, The Beautiful World, the animated series. Wow, this thing is cool. The original Kino's Journey was a rather unique series that gave us an endearing heroine, as well as an examination of the human psyche when exposed to various cultures and customs. It was haunting, thought-provoking, and oddly tender at times. Now Kino and her motorcycle Hermes are back, albeit with an absolutely stunning visual do-over. While the scenery certainly sparkles, we're all eager to see just who and what Kino encounters along her travels. And you best not mess with her, guys. She's damn quick on the draw. I it. Number six, Mr. Osamatsu 2. Are you prepared for anime's most chaotic six tuplets to make a return? Trick question. No one is ready for the Matsuno brothers. But off the heels of their fiendishly funny first season, we can easily expect the likes of Osamatsu, Karamatsu, Choromatsu, Ichimatsu, Jushimatsu, and Toramatsu to get this a is all sorts of R rated uh, Of course, it's, um, of it's up for us. So I gotta probably wait till like either half a month, half a year, or a year just for the dub version to come out. Oh, if it is a dub version. Number 5, Inuyashiki. 
絶望の先に待つの。Third play, oh boy. They still haven't had a dub version of the first one yet. I'm still waiting for that. This is probably going to be the one in the series that never gets a dub. How much more trouble can a silver-haired samurai get into? Do you really need to ask by this point? Allegedly, this sixth season will be adapting the Papori art portion of the manga, as well as any unused gags that the previous seasons omitted, meaning that you can expect to see plenty of more outrageous humor this time around. Probably all at Gintoki's expense, something we're totally fine with. Swords will clash, media will be satirized, fourth walls will be broken, and our job's kin will undoubtedly get kicked to the curb. Number two, Black Clover. Oh, this looks good. This series has had quite the buzz around it for some time. Some even claiming that if done right, it's on route to becoming the next Naruto or Bleach. Ooh. Whether it will measure up or not remains to be decided. But from the looks of things, it still is good though. I'll wait, I'll wait for the dub. Who can trust each other in every possible way, yet still seek the same goal, giant weapons, plenty of magic and battle cries, as well as a lead character with a big ass sword. Yep, that sounds like the making of a shonen winner to us. <laughs> Number one, the ancient Magus's bride. This is my third river, third for this one. I think a black horse should get on the moon. Known as those awaiting a star, we highly suggest you check it out to give you a taste of what to expect going into this gorgeous series. Focusing on a young woman called Chise, whose ability to see spirits ostracizes her from society, we follow her as she tries to adapt to a strange life as she finds herself as the apprentice of the monstrous-looking sorcerer Elias. Oh, and she's also his bride to be. One thing's for sure, putting aside the visual splendor and maelstrom of emotion, the series boasts what might just be the most unusual coupling in all of anime. Elias is my hand until I speak to my hand. I am that person. Do you agree with our picks? Yes, I agree. Check out these other great clips. Alright, this is not... This is not bad. No, I mean, look at the lineup though. The ones I say I definitely would look forward to, but the dub, I wish the dub version, hopefully a dub version come out too, or like, I gotta wait, probably wait half a year or a year to watch it. The Black Cobra dub will look, look a little interesting right there. What's the other one? What was that? The one with this, this, this one right here, what's it called? Anyway. Oh yeah, Blood, Black K, Battlefront, and Beyond, that looks good. Um, What else one? The Marshall Lion looks somewhat okay, like when I'm... Uh, what was this? Slice of Life, good one, a good slice of life one, and his other one too. Uh, Kino Journey Beyond the, the Beautiful World, the anime series. I guess it's a movie that came out before they had a series. Uh, or what's the other one? Um, this one right here, like a funny one to watch. Uh, Mr. Asamatsu 2. It looks like it might be the one. This other one here, um, I'm trying to figure. Inuyashiki sounds, seems interesting as well too. 
Uh, Full War, I still want to watch the. I saw one episode, not too bad, but it was in sub. I watched it with my girlfriend just to watch it. But I wish they would at least bring out a dub version of at least the first season soon. Well, then that. Like I said, a lot of these is new, so you know they're going to be sub. It's going to be in Japanese first. Then, like, we'll have a, a dub to, like, afterwards, they got to wait because they got the whole translation and everything. It takes time and all that white thing. That's why I'm behind on Dragon Ball Super because I prefer, I waited for, the, I wanted to wait for the dub because I didn't want to sit through a Japanese version of Ken Goku in Japanese. I'm going to get used to my same characters and American voices. Well, then, that English. Other than that, um. Do you agree with the cow devil? So, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page. It's your boy T-Bear signing off. One love.